Welcome to the HiMac Cam channel. In this video, we're going to look at the iron ring in the scanning electron microscope. Iron ring is given to Canadian undergraduate engineering students upon completion of the program. It is typically worn on the little finger of the working hand. The iron ring is a symbol of pride that engineers have in their profession. It also serves as a reminder for the engineer to have high standards of professional conduct. There are actually two versions of the iron rings out there. One of them is made of iron, as the name implies, and the other version is made of stainless steel. Using the scanning electron microscope, we could explore the structure and chemistry differences between these two types of iron rings. In addition, I'll perform hardness testing to determine which ring is harder and stronger. Since the rings have been previously worn and are full of scratches, the rings have to go through a multi-step grinding and polishing procedure using sandpaper and fine diamond paste before observation in the scanning electron microscope. The final result should be a clean mirror finish free of scratches. Afterwards, the ring is mounted on a specimen stage using double-sided conductive tape. It is now ready for observation in the scanning electron microscope. Let's have a look at the stainless steel ring first. As you can see from the scale bar, the thickness of the ring is slightly over 1000 microns or 1 millimeter. Since the surface has been well polished, the contrast we are seeing here is crystal or grain contrast. Metals and alloys are polycrystalline materials, meaning they are made of many individual crystals or grains oriented differently with respect to each other. In these images, we can see the crystal size ranges from about 10 microns to 150 microns. Now let's look at the iron ring. On the low magnification image, it appears to be featureless, but as you zoom in, we can see some grain features, but the grains are much smaller than the ones found on the stainless steel ring. With increasing magnification, we can see that the shape of the grains are quite different compared to the stainless steel. This is most likely due to the differences in the manufacturing condition and the chemistry of the ring. At very high magnification, we can see some grains can be as small as 50 nanometers. To determine the chemical composition, I applied the energy dispersive X-ray spectroscopy technique in the scanning electron microscope. On the left is the spectrum obtained from this technique and the peaks at specific energy position represents a specific element. From this, the chemical composition and mass percentage is obtained. The stainless steel ring contains 72% iron, 16.8% chromium, 8.3% manganese, 1.6% copper, and 1.2% nickel. Now the question is, what type of stainless steel is this? I did some research and the closest match is this 204 copper stainless steel. The composition of the stainless steel ring is well within the typical composition of the 204 copper stainless steel. The choice of 204 copper stainless steel is most likely due to lower cost compared to the typical 304 stainless steel. Also, some people are allergic to nickel, so it is best to avoid the 304 stainless steel which contains significantly more nickel. On to the chemical composition of the iron ring. Not surprisingly, it is made of mostly iron at around 98%, with a small percentage of chromium and manganese. micro hardness testing was performed to determine the resistance to deformation of the stainless steel and the iron ring. A diamond tip indenter with a known force is pressed against the sample surface. The indentation mark left behind is then measured and converted into a hardness value. The larger the indentation mark, the lower the hardness of the material. I have measured micro hardness several times on each ring and the optical microscopy images here show the typical indentation for the stainless steel ring and the iron ring. As you can see, the indentation mark on the stainless steel ring is slightly larger than the iron ring. The stainless steel ring has a typical hardness of 215, and the iron ring is about 50% harder with a typical hardness value of 315. For comparison, diamond, the hardest material known, has a hardness value of 10,000. So why is the iron ring harder than the stainless steel ring? The main reason is due to the grain size of the material. 
From the scanning electron microscopy images, we can see that the average grain size of the stainless steel ring is about 100 microns, while the average grain size of the iron ring is about 500 nanometers, which is 200 times smaller. When the material has a smaller grain size, it is stronger and is better at resisting deformation. This is known as the hall patch relationship in material science. If you want a harder ring and can tolerate corrosion, go with iron. If you want something that remains shiny at all times, go with stainless. For those who will receive the iron ring in the near future, I hope this video will help you choose the $50,000 ring. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time.